Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to show you how to install a pay now link like this, or a button like this in the sidebar, or a link and or a button down in the footer, just like this and this. This is specific to WordPress, so if you're running any WordPress theme, this will apply to you. I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step in this video tutorial, coming up. Okay, so this will be another step-by-step -step tutorial and we're gonna log into WordPress and I'm gonna show you how to install these links. In order for it to work exactly the way that I'm showing you, you need to have a couple of things set up in advance of getting into WordPress and adding these buttons and links. And the most important thing is to already have a hosted payment page set up. So there's other videos that I have talked about that are on this channel, and I'll link to them in the description or right on the screen here. There are gonna be hosted payment pages that look like this, for example, or like this. So this one here is a hosted payment page by CardPoint and Card Connect, and this one is a hosted payment page through the Simply Pay invoicing and payment page service. These are hosted payment pages that are managed and taken care of for you by outside third-party services. So in another video, I have shown you this page right here, and this is just a sample to show you what the, the CardPoint hosted payment page looks like. And if I click on this hyperlink, which is what I'm going to show you how to install in the footer and the sidebar and the, and the uh, main menu, if you click on this, it actually redirects you and now I'm on a different URL than I previously was. So it takes me away from the main website and it goes over to this hosted payment page. So if you have one of these pages set up either through CardPoint or through Simply Pay, you can easily set this up because all you have to do is grab the link and add it to the image or the text that we're gonna set up in WordPress. Okay, so we're gonna set this up on the main menu or add it to the main menu of this website. And for your site, you're gonna have the same functionality because again, this is a WordPress website. So it doesn't really matter what theme you're running the same functionality and the core, same core functions are gonna be present with WordPress if you're running any theme out there. So we're gonna add it to the main menu. Then if we go over to the blog, for example, we're gonna add a button right here in the sidebar and it'll be, you know, we'll just add it right above this button right here. And then again, we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom and we're gonna add it in the footer. So you can pick and choose where you wanna have the button itself, but the main point of adding this is to give your customers a quick and easy way to pay their bills. So if you've sent out an invoice or an email or for any reason you need to collect payments, you can point them to the homepage of your website, they can click on the pay now button and they can get directed right over to the hosted payment page that you already have set up. Okay, so here's how we'll do it. You'll log into the dashboard of your WordPress website and you'll come over to the appearance tab and come down to the menus. And once the menu section loads, you're gonna come right up here and select the menu that you wanna add it to. Now yours are gonna be labeled most likely different than these right here, but you probably will have a, a footer and a header menu depending on whether you did it yourself or whether you had a webmaster set up your website for you. So this menu that we're looking at right here is the is called the header top right for for this website and I'm going to move this over to the primary menu and I'm just going to select and then it's going to load all of the pages that are in that menu. So again, you have about frequently asked questions, blog and contact and that coincides with this menu uh, right here. Okay, so all we need to do, this is really a very simple process is that we're going to add a custom link option. And to do that, all you do is come right over here. Your theme, by the way, may or may not have all of these options. Some of these are plugins for WooCommerce and other services that are added to this blog. But WordPress gives you an option for custom links, and that's what you want to click on. So just click on the word or the little twirl down arrow, and it'll give you the option to add a URL and then a link text. So right here is where you're simply gonna grab the link for your hosted payment page and you can just add it right here. So I've already copied mine to my clipboard and I've added this secure link for the Simply Pay Me hosted payment page. 
Then I'm just going to add the link text, which is what's going to show up on the button. And I'll just say pay now. Then when I click add to the menu, it shows up right here and I can rearrange it in any, any order that I'd like. And we'll just leave it right there at the end for now. So all I need to do to make this active is come over and click save and then come back over to the website, refresh for the home page, and then you see the pay now button right up over here in the corner. I could just as easily have added it to this menu up here. This particular WordPress theme gives me the option to add two menus, one on the very top and then one in the middle. Nevertheless, if you just click on pay now, you can see that it redirects you away from the main website. And now the customer or client would be on my pay now button that's offered through Simply Pay. So it's really as simple as that. You just add the link into the, into the menu section. And again, if you wanna rearrange this, you can drag it up so it's first, save the menu, uh, come back over and I'll, I'll just click the back button so I can come back to the website. And then you see that it's listed right here. Again, click and it goes right over to the payment page. Okay, so now that we've added the pay now link to the main menu, we're gonna go ahead and add it to the footer menu in case you would rather have it be down there. It's the same process. You're just gonna come up here and select a different menu to edit. So the menu structure is listed right here. And again, just to show you how this shows up on the live site, if I come back over to the home page and just scroll down, here's the menu that we're looking at. It starts with card point, about us, testimonials, frequently asked questions, and it's the same ones right here. So again, exactly the same process. You just take that link, you put it in right here, and you could even put, you can put whatever text you want. So pay bill now, click add to menu, and then I'm gonna move this up to the top, click save, come back over and just refresh this page and it's going to show up right there. And then again, the same exact process where you just click on it and it redirects you away from your website where the customer can make a secure payment for goods or services. Now, if you're familiar with how WordPress works, you know that you can just as easily add images to any menu or any footer or what's called a widget. And each of these sections, the follow us section, the categories, this search bar, they're all widgets within WordPress. So if I go into the widgets section, I can add actually a pay now button, which would just be a pay now image. And I can assign the link the same way that I did to this hyperlink right here in the menu. So in order to do that, we'll come back over to the dashboard of WordPress. We'll come in, into the appearance menu and then come down to the widgets section and click. And this is going to bring up all of the different widgets that you're able to modify. Now on your WordPress theme, this widget section will vary slightly, but you'll likely have a sidebar widget and you can expand it by clicking on the arrow. It'll go back and forth. So you have a main sidebar and then all of these others could be potentially custom sidebars. Okay, so the way that you add this, I'm gonna add this to our footer sidebar. I have a left, middle, and a right, and again, here's the left, here's the middle, and there's the right. So we're gonna add it to the middle, and you can see the search, then I have my social networks, and I have a custom menu down at the bottom, and I wanna add it right above the search. So what I'm gonna do is come over to the available widgets, and I need to just get a word editor and I have access to this visual editor right here, which I'm gonna click on. This drops down and it gives me the ability to add it to any one of the widgets that I have available, and I'm gonna do the footer sidebar middle. Okay, footer sidebar middle, and I'm gonna just add the widget, and then it comes up. Okay, so this is where it opened. I'm gonna close this down real quick and move it up to the top, then I'm gonna twirl down, and I, this is just a text editor, just like a page or a post, and you can just start typing in what you want. So we'll say pay now. We'll just leave it at pay now. Then you come down here in the text editor, and I'm gonna add media, and I've searched for pay now, and I have an image already installed. This is, again, just a JPEG or PNG image, and I'm gonna insert that into the post, and there it is. Now to assign the link to this, I'm gonna just click on it, and then hover over the insert edit link option, which is right here, click on it, 
and then paste my URL right into that box and click apply. Okay, now that link is attached to that image button. I'm gonna come down and save and now that button is added to the footer sidebar middle. So then again, to check this, you just come back over to the live site, refresh the page, and you can see the search bar. It, the pay now button is right above it. And I could leave the title off if I'd like, just by coming back over here. If I don't like that or the way that it looks, I can just type right in the box. So pay your bill here, and then I'll just center that by highlighting it and clicking Align Center. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Save, and then we'll come back over to the live site, refresh, and there you go. So it says pay your bill here. Again, same process, you just click on the button and it will bring you over to the hosted payment page. So now that that button is added, I can take this and I can drag it to any one of the widget modules that I want to. So if I want to rearrange the order or put it over on the left-hand side, I just drag it and leave it and it automatically updates. So again, to show you the live page, come back over to the top and here it is added right above the recent post. So you can move it over here, down there, wherever you would like. So now we have a pay now or pay your bill here with a button option in the footer. We have a pay now option right up in the main menu. And now we're going to put a pay now button in the sidebar next to the blog roll. And as a quick note, I think you're realizing now that you can add the hyperlink or the text in literally any page that you would like. So if you would like to link it off of the home page in a text or put it in a button somewhere underneath an image or, or something like that, you have flexibility to do that however you would like. To add it to the sidebar, we come back to the widgets section. Here's my main sidebar, and in the same respect or the same way, I'm gonna come down and search for the visual editor, click on it, and add it to the main sidebar, add widget, and then it will open up down here. Now I wanna put it right at the very top, so I'll put it there, I'll twirl it down. I'm gonna leave this blank and just type into the editor. Okay, you have the text and you have vi the visual editor. So I'll just type pay your bill in here and I will configure it the way that I'd like. So I'll put it in the middle, make it uh, bigger. I can change the font and I'll return, enter to the next, next line, click add media, search for my pay now button in my media library, click on it, insert in a post and there it is. Now I just go through the process of attaching my link again by clicking on it, insert, apply and save. And I can twirl up and remember this is going to be at the very top of the sidebar. So when I refresh this page, it'll show up right here. And there it is. So as you can see in a, in a very short amount of time, if you have your hosted payment page set up with either of these two options that I've shown you, you can add that pay now button to your WordPress website very easily and very quickly. And that's exactly how you go about doing it. And as a quick reminder, everything that I publish on this YouTube channel deals with payment processing workflows and making the process of getting paid simple, easy, and efficient. Cause it's not just about setting up the merchant account or having access to a specific software tool. It's about making all of them work together so that it's easy for your customers to pay you and settle invoices and pay you for your products and services. If you're new to the channel, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to the channel if you wanna learn more about payment processing methods just like this. Be sure to click the subscribe button. I publish weekly tutorial and how-to videos on the topics of payment processing, merchant accounts, and workflows, as I just mentioned. So until next time, I'm Brian Manning. Have a great day.